Hello Scorpio. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitia here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person you're connecting with on a romantic level. The person you want to be connecting with. What is it that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently? This is a general love reading, so this will not resonate for every Scorpion out there. The reading is meant from mid-February to the end of February 2021. Some of you may have already gone through this. Some of you may be going through this right now. And the rest of you may be in the far future. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. So you have here a lot of cards that are talking about second chances in a way. Healing. Sorry, give me one sec. I want to get these straight. Okay. I know I, I usually don't do this, but I do feel that this was a slight little omen. I have a star here, and it kind of flipped up on this particular card. I'm going to keep that there. I'll go into more detail regarding that card. Oh my. Wow. Scorpio. This is going to be an intense reading, guys. For sure. Now keep in mind, like I said, this is not going to resonate for everyone. But I see a lot of changes um, that are occurring within this person. You might not see it. You might not sense it or feel it. But there's a lot of changes. A variety of things are happening, actually. It's not just one. All right. I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you currently. My dear Scorpio, the things that have happened in the past were very haphazard. They were all over the place. They were rough, they were mean. Things shouldn't have happened the way that they happened. There are certain things that I have said and done. I now think that shouldn't have happened. And I've been wondering how to fix all of this. Trying to make and stir up something that would be new. And so I realize now I want a second chance and I want to try something a little different, something better. I want to put to death what it was that we had before and have a rebirth of something new, bright, happy. And I realize this because you're the only one that gives me so much pleasure. Physically, yes. Spiritually, yes. As a friend, you make my heart happy. But so much has happened. 
so much I have done to you that I really have to step back and heal, contemplate, think. I'm isolating myself so that I can think about my actions and I can think about how am I going to fix this. I'm forcing myself into isolation and I am forcing myself into being alone. But I don't want to feel lonely. Me being introvert, talking to myself, not associating with the rest of the world, yes, really has turned me into a hermit. Do I reach out to you? Not as much as I should. And this is simply because I'm trying to sort out my own mind and other things. Even the fact that I'm healing, I dare not tell you or let you know how fragile my mind is. My mind is fragile. And I am hiding this from you. There are so many things that I'm hiding right now. I'm wearing a false mask. I act one way. I feel one way. But I completely show a different side of me in front of you. And the funny thing is, you know that side of me. Sometimes I wonder if it's even useful acting at all. I'm hiding behind a curtain, not showing you how much it is that you make me feel spiritually satisfied, emotionally satisfied, and physically satisfied. You make me feel so amazing, so good. That everything about you provides me nourishment. There are some beautiful things that you have provided to me in my life. And these things no other person has provided me. There are these small things that you do. You fulfill me. And I realize now that I actually needed this kind of a person. I never realized that until I found you. You provide me with this fulfillment, this happiness. I could literally be on an empty stomach and still be happy just because I'm with you. You have a way of nourishing my soul, my body, my heart. You do it all. And I've realized this now. I agree I have really, really messed up because I have lied to you a lot. I have suspected you of certain things at times. Yet myself I have spoken paragraphs, yet I have left out a sentence or two. What you don't know won't hurt you. Yes, I have hidden things. I hid things. I made many things just an illusion. But now I want a second chance because I realize that I myself have to heal from this nasty behavior. I have spoken lies to you. These lies, some of them you have suspected, some of them you have actually caught me in a lie. But in my heart, I know I have not been so truthful. And I could have been. But at the, ch at the time, I chose not to be truthful to you. I 
I also feel that you are like my best friend. Someone who knows how to make me laugh, how to make me smile. So much I feel. So much I go through each day thinking how gloomy and how dark that sky is when you're not there. You make my heart happy. You make me dance with joy. You are my sunshine. And now, since there has been this distance, I only realize now that the only option I have is to finally open up to you. I have to open up to you because there are certain things that I have hidden deep in my heart, certain things I don't talk to you about. There is these shadows that exist and there is a certain amount of emotion, different emotions, different things and intentions that I've had that you never knew about. But now I want to open up to you about everything. Overall, I do feel that the connection that I have with you is very inspiring. It is inspirational. I feel as if the world is brighter, the world's a happier place, knowing that you are in it. This inspiration makes me feel that the world looks better, sounds better, tastes better. It just feels better. Knowing that you're around my life is happy. And when you're not around, yes, there is a lack of inspiration and there is darkness. All right. Scorpio, you guys get a special star. <laughs> it's like we're in a class. Boys and girls, you guys get a star. <laughs> um, you have been all that you could possibly be. This is a very beautiful card because this card really does, it talks about nourishment. So what is nourishment, right? We, as humans, we need to be nourished and not just in one way. You know, you can have a parent have children and only feed the children but not provide them with love and affection and emotion, right? So is that child actually being nourished? Just one way. But the, the emotions aren't there, right? So that's just an example. But you actually provide this person with all sorts of nourishment. This is what they feel. This is a very beautiful reading, guys. It was very sweet the way the tiny little star had cropped above the card. All right. Let's have a look at what is this hesitation? Why isn't this person reaching out the way you would like them to? There's something holding them back. Let's have a look at what's that. Okay. That was a seven of wands. Or rather the ten. Yeah, the ten of staffs. In case those of you are interested in seeing. 
there are three cards, but I'm not, I'm only going to pick the top card. That's the one that's more focused. For those of you that are interested, we have the two of staffs, which is more of decision making, as well as the eight of cups. A lot of regrets wanting to move on. So we have here the queen of cups. This person right now feels extremely overwhelmed by emotions that need sorting out. They need to take control of their own feelings because they feel that there's a lack of harmony now in this connection. So they're starting to appreciate love, beauty, and intimacy, whereas before they took it for granted. Under the bottom of the deck, we have the Prince of Arrows, Princess of Arrows. Here we have waiting for you to reach out and give them some sort of news. They're not able to understand as much as they would like to because there's a sense of ignorance here and confusion. So ignorance is when somebody's doing it on purpose. But I find that this individual was actually just simply confused. They just really didn't have much of a choice in the matter. They've just been confused. But you might find this person ignorant, some of you. They may actually deliberately do certain things just to upset you. All right, so we have here the Beginner's Tarot deck. Let's have a look at what actions, if there's any actions, um, any plans, any tensions that this person has towards you. Okay. Wow, the Magician card. This came out for another sign a while ago. So we have the Magician card. So this person does want to be that one who can make your dreams come true because you are their wish. They wish for you. Oh my goodness, Nine of Cups. You are the wish come true. Oh, someone's saying, I dream of you. So some of you are dreaming about this individual. And this person's probably dreaming about you. Why? Because Five of Cups, they do regret a lot of things that have happened in the past. And they're dwelling on the past, crying over spilled milk. They're not happy with the way they've treated you. Oh my. Currently, they also feel very restricted, very bound. So, Scorpio, I don't see a lot of action, but I do see a lot of planning and good intention. Because here, yes, this person is regretting certain things, but they also feel restricted. They are actually restricted. They're constrained. So there may be... Um, you know, travel restrictions, this could be financial restrictions, there could be many things that are restricting this person from entering your life. We have here the Queen of Wands under the bottom of the deck. You are utterly irresistible. This person really desires you sexually. They also think that you are quite intuitive and they do feel some type of connection with you psychically. It could be that... Um, you both may be meeting in your dream states. Okay, just going to do a quick prayer. All right. Listen to your intuition. So, these messages are brought to you by Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. And they are the staff for our Abrahamic religion, where we have Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. These are the angels that work for the gods who are known. All right, one sec, guys. Pet peeve here. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Okay. 
I'm not going to dwell on this too much. I really shouldn't. Oh, this really wanted to come out. Okay. Okie dokie. up to you. You actually have a choice here. You have a choice on whether to be with this person or not. It's totally up to you. Wow. Okay. Some of you, Scorpio, you're not going to like this. Some of you, you may not like this message. For some of you, there's two storylines here now. Decision-making time type of storyline. Some of you are actually going to let go and it's going to be okay. And some of you are still going to try to make this connection work and it's still going to be okay. This is why the angels are saying, listen to your intuition. If you feel this person is toxic, you definitely have to keep your distance. We have here abundance. So you are going to receive abundance in this connection. It is important to get more information regarding the type of situation you find yourself in. Right now they're saying it's not the right time for this connection to work out. This person, remember, is very confused and they're very ignorant. So they have to change in order to be that special person to come into your life. They have to evolve and appreciate and not take for granted you. Meditation will bring answers. This is you simply praying to God. This is you praying. Here we have the Christ consciousness, and behind Christ we have the Almighty Father, the Holy Light of God. Now, we can pray to Ishu, that is Jesus, and we pray to Jesus, and we can get through Jesus to get to um, Jehovah, and you can request from the both of them. We pray to them. We pray to the both of them and request for them to send Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel to guide you and protect you throughout this entire situation. Emphasis on the guide. Let them guide you. When they do, you will be receiving intuitive messages from the divine. You'll hear it in your head. It'll just come out of nowhere. Uh, nowhere. <laughs> It'll just come out of nowhere. Um... Yes, it's up to you. So, first of all, this decision depends on you. Depends on the situation that you've gone through, the experiences that you've gone through. If you think it's very toxic, definitely take a step back. Why do I say that? Because under the bottom of the deck, there are three of them are saying here, there's something better. So there's something better than this person as well as there's something better than this situation. If you think that this is the best this relationship is ever going to get, for those of you that believe and you want something better to happen, there will be something better that happens in this situation. But for those of you that want to move on, it's still up to you. You still are going to receive abundance in the coming future. There's many things that are written in stone. But those stones have different pathways and we choose our destiny and fate. God creates our lives like branches or like roads that have side roads, side routes, an alleyway, an underground path. The destination is the same, but the route might be different. But we always get something. But we have to travel. We can't just stay put. He will help you if you help yourself. But this is all up to you guys. And I do feel that no matter what happens, you will receive abundance and you're going to be happy with it. All right. And that is your reading, Scorpio. I hope this resonated with a few of you, if not hopefully all of you. Um, do reach out to me if you would like personal readings and I hope to hear from you guys soon if I can I will try my best 
as much as I can in the comments below. For those of you I was going to mention, um, for those of you that may be feeling any type of negative energies, you can always reach out to me regarding um, a chakra checkup. So I can look into this for you. I remotely check all of your energy centers and I'm able to have a look if you have negative energies in your home, uh, how to get rid of them. I'll teach you how to do that as well as how to heal yourself from negative energies by removing them and then aligning your energy centers, which are your chakras and creating a better balance. Um, kind of like rebooting your system back to what you originally were <laughs> like, um, a factory setting <laughs> so I know it sounds weird but in all honesty sometimes it's just easier explaining it in that way there's many things that um, I use as examples in my personal readings um, just to make more sense so if any of you are feeling negative energies that are holding you back from achieving what it is that you want like sometimes we have all the bad luck in the world that's not by fluke that is literally negative energy stopping and blocking all the goodness that you're supposed to receive. So do reach out to me for those of you that feel this. And I'm going to say it, if you feel like your home has negative energy inside of it, reach out and I will let you know what you can do to get rid of it. All right then, you guys take care and stay safe. Bye now.